So far, we have talked about two different kinds of messages methods. Now, the first one, uh, sorry about that, the first one is uh, the unary message. In this case, the method doesn't take any kind of argument. It's just the name you use and you, and, uh, you send this message and that's it. With the keyword message, which is another kind of message, uh, you can have keyword uh, as names and you have can have multiple arguments. In this case, we have a single keyword, which is age, and we know that the, the end of the keyword always is with a period. And then the first thing comes is the name of the argument. The name of argument is used only internally, internally inside the method. It doesn't mean anything outside the method. So we use it here to represent the value that age will, will take. So, but we can have multiple arguments. We can have, for example, hair color. Again, we use a period, uh, a column, sorry. And then we can put the name of the hair color, which is, let's say, hair color. We can use any kind of name we want. Or name, for the name of a dog, name of the dog. And so forth and so forth. A third kind of uh, message is a binary message. Now, in order to demonstrate the binary method uh, message, I create uh, uh, two additional classes that subclass uh, the, the dog class. It's Cocker Mix, which for a Cocker Spaniel that is mixed with another breed of dog, another breed to represent any kind of breed that is not a Cocker Spaniel or a Cocker Mix. And I have added uh, in this, uh, in Cocker Spaniel, a new method it's called a plus which is actually a binary method. And we know it's a binary because it doesn't take a period, and also it takes a single argument. So it cannot be a unary, and it cannot be a keyword message. It is a binary. Now, what happens here? First of all, let's start with the first thing you're going to observe here is the parenthesis. Now, the meaning of parenthesis is to indicate to Faro which message to execute first. When you have multiple messages in a single line, it's a good thing to start using parentheses to give a priority to your messages, so that uh, Faro knows uh, when a message, where a message starts and where it stops, and it can prioritize which message is going to send first. In this case, we send first this message. Another is kind of dog. Actually, as you can see, this is you. Actually, you see here the ability of Faro. You already can understand what the code is doing here. He's checking whether another which is another dog in this case, is kind of dog. What it actually this message is doing here, which is a keyword message, is checking to see if the instance, if uh, this object is an instance of a class that is a subclass of dog. So dog here is the superclass. It doesn't have to be an immediate superclass. It can be also, you know, uh, for example, it could be uh, like we have seen here, this superclass, or this superclass, or this superclass, or so forth and so forth. So it's checking if uh, another is uh, a subclass, an instance uh, of a subclass of dog. So in case if, if, if this happens, you know that actually what you're talking about is something that relates to a dog. Now, if, you, if it's true, if it is a, a, such a, a subclass, then what it does is executing here, a block, what we call a block. Now, a block, all a block it is, is an anonymous method. Now, if you follow the tutorial, as you know already that in order to create a method, we have to create a class, and in this, inside of this class, we can put our method. But this is not the only way. A block is also another way of creating a method. In this case, we don't need a name, and we don't need a class. We can create it immediately, and this is one of the big advantages of blocks. Because we can create them immediately without only any immediate, uh, mid, uh, middle steps, uh, we can use them inside methods or in anywhere inside our code to execute code very quickly. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, as soon as this is executed, the block is lost, it's gone forever. Unless you assign it to somewhere and you can use it later on as well. In this case, all the block is doing is returning the Cocker Mix new, which is an instance of Cocker Mix, which we have created here. Okay, this is an instance of Cocker Mix. And, but only the case 
if it's true. So what is going to happen here is the, the method here is going to return true only if the instance here is a subclass of dog. If it's true, it's going to execute this, so it's going to return. If, if, if it's true and returns this, it's going to stop the method here. But if it's not true, it's false, then it's going to continue. It's not going to return this, this instance here. It's going to continue and it's going to use a, a keyword message that's called error. Now, this uh, keyword message uh, is not found in Tokyo Spaniel, is not found in Dog, but is actually inherited from the object, from the object class. And the use of the error here is to uh, trigger the debugger with an error report that says the parameter you pass is not an instance of a dog class. Because we want this method, this plus sign, uh, to use only with uh, subclasses of dog in order to create uh, mixes of a specific dog. Now, in this case, a Cocker Spaniel is going to create a Cocker Spaniel mix. Of course, we can create in another print another kind of uh, plus uh, uh, binary method to uh, create also another kind of mix of dogs. For example, you know, uh, a collie mix or something, some kind of other dog. Now, the one thing that we have to be careful with binaries is that we cannot use any kind of um, name for them. They are very specific. Uh, you can use only one of the characters here or a combination of these characters. You cannot use letters or numbers or anything like that. Only uh, you can use these characters here to create your binary message. Now, let's watch what happens in practice. Now, we remember from last time that Jim is an instance of a Cocker Spaniel new, a Cocker Spaniel class. Uh, we have executed already the code, the code here from a previous tutorial. So, already we have uh, Jim, uh, an instance of the Cocker Spaniel class. Now, we create a new instance here and assign it to Jane which is the instance of another breed, another breed new. Okay, now we create a new variable named Ricky and this variable is, uh, is, is assigned a, a, a value that is the result of Jim plus Jane. So because Jim is a Cocker Spaniel, it's going to find here the plus uh, binary message and it's going to pass Jane as uh, a, an argument. So in, in the case of, in, in place of another, it's going to be Jane. And it's going to ask, Jane is kind of dog? So is Jane an instance that its class is a class of dog? And it's going to find that uh, Jane's class is actually uh, another breed class. So it's going to ask if another breed class is actually a subclass of dog. And of course the answer is yes. In this case, it's going to return the value true. And when we go to do, go to do next, it's going to examine, is it true? Yes. Okay. If it is true, then execute this block. And the block here is, as we said, an anonymous method, a method that doesn't need any kind of, uh, of uh, name, or we don't need to create a class for it. We can create it just using this symbol here and this symbol here. And with it, the method plus is going to return, is going to end here with an instance of Cocker Mix. And if we go here and examine it, because I've already run the code, and inspect it, we see that, as we expected, this is, uh, the Ricky is actually an instance of uh, Cocker Mix. Now, observe that here, that self represents the object itself. So in this case, self represents Cocker Spaniel. It's going to examine whether it has the error method inside it. And even though it is not defined here, it's inherited from the class object. So error, exists as a method inside the object class that we inherit with dog and the dog inherits to Cocker Spaniel. Now, uh, what happens if we pass plus one? Uh, in this case, one is a number, is actually, uh, let's see if we can see here, inspect it. E no, it doesn't say us. Uh, it's actually, uh, if I, I think I remember it correctly, let's see if it's with Explorer, explore it. Yeah, it's actually an instance of, uh, of uh, a numerical class and it's not actually a class of dog, it's not a subclass of dog. So what will happen here if we execute this? Sure enough, it's going to create us an error as we said it should create an error because it says, is it, for, is it a, a kind of dog? No, it's not a kind of dog. It's not, it's not a subclass of dog. In any case, it is uh, some kind of other class. It's, this instance is, is an instance of another kind of class. 
So it's going to uh, send this message error and it's going to pass this string which is going to print actually up here. The parameter you passed is not an instance of the class. So this is actually a very nice, uh, clever way to uh, create our own kind of errors uh, so the user always know what, what went wrong exactly because you may not know you, you may not know how the object works or how the class actually work and what their uses and how you will use it properly. Uh, but with this way, with creating your own kind of errors, you can actually do that. You can create errors that are customized for your objects. And uh, I think all this is all actually for today. Uh, yeah, again, we've we, we seen that parentheses are important for uh, dividing messages uh, and identifying which message uh, which part is a single message. Uh, Faro knows that this, what is inside the parenthesis is uh, a single message. And uh, you can have also multiple parentheses if you want to divide each message separately. We've seen that the binary uh, <coughs> methods that, uh, that can use only these symbols here or any combination of these characters. And they can pass only a single argument. And uh, we have seen also that uh, we can create uh, methods, uh, anonymous methods with, uh, with, uh, with a block uh, syntax, which is we're using the characters here, these characters here. And that's it. With, now we know three kinds of methods that also are three kinds of messages. Binary, uh, sorry, unary, which take no arguments. Binary, that takes only a single argument and they can use a specific characters for names and keywords, arguments that take keywords uh, as part of their name and they can have multiple amount of arguments. See you on the next tutorial.